What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Toxicity Blitz. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the AMX 30B. I thought this was a good time to make this video since Black Friday is just around the corner, and usually we see some pretty well priced tier 10 uh, collectible tanks. And I have no doubt that this tank is either going to be in containers or out in the shop for 20,000, maybe 17,500 gold. Now, I really do recommend this tank. For those of you who don't know, this is my favorite tank in the entire game. I absolutely love this tank. I am pushing 600 battles with it, 61% win rate, 2,400 average damage, almost 2,500. This tank is just absolutely phenomenal. A lot of times, you don't you don't see this tank on the battlefield too often, though. Reason being is, so statistically-wise, this tank is pretty much just a worse Leopard 1. It has same speed. It is really, really fast. It's got... 65 kilometers an hour, got same turret traverse, it's uh, it's got less DPM, uh, you can see here, it uh, runs pretty low on the DPM side for a medium tank, with without uh, calibrated, or without gun rammer, it drops down to about 2800, which really isn't that great, it has a 7 second reload, and it's pen really isn't that great either, um, However, it's got amazing shell velocity, absolutely phenomenal shell velocity. Like most medium tanks, you don't really ever have to lead your shots. You can just point and click, and you will hit your shots most of the time, but you will have trouble penning. The gun is really accurate. It's almost as accurate as a Leopard's gun, almost as accurate on the move, but still not quite. The only thing that I really like this tank over the Leopard for is the armor. The armor on this tank is actually really quite decent. Your hull, you really don't have any, but your hull is kind of shaped like that of a uh, Progetto, just a little bit less round and ball-shaped. The front plate is really slow, so if you if you uh, poke out at angles, every now and then you will get some really troll bounces. Definitely don't rely on it, you don't have much in it at all. You have very, very, very low hull armor, but you definitely can get some lucky bounces. You have really weak side armor, you can be HE'd in the side. Um... However, your gun mantlet, your gun mantlet can't even be penned by 268 heat. This gun mantlet is completely impenetrable. Uh, the turret all around it can be penned um, against other mediums. Most of the turret uh, is pretty much red because it is really rounded. But that gun mantlet is where you're going to be getting most of your bounces. The biggest downfall to the turret of this tank is the uh, massive tumor on top, a uh, tumor of a cupola. It's absolutely massive. However, this tank does have 10 degrees of gun depression, so if you can get on a hill, you can kind of hide it a little bit more than you would uh, head on. But that, again, that is also something I love about this tank. It has one more degree of gun depression than the Leopard 1. So without further ado, let's get this thing into a battle and see what it can really do. Alright, so we are hopping into a game here, and right off the bat, we get to identify the fact that we are the... Only medium on our team. We can't play very aggressive at all. So we are going to go all the way to the heavy side and try to get up as many spots as possible because going medium side just doesn't seem like a very safe option for us right now. We see their chieftain's already spotted and he's moving up. We're still going to go up this ramp anyway, see if there's anybody behind him, see if we can get any spots up there. Uh, we don't. And so we choose to rotate back around to this hill behind us. You notice me looking over towards the town just to make sure their mediums aren't going to be able to pen my turret from town. Again, right here, I'm not trying to uh, get any shots on the chief and we get a wonderful bounce there. I'm not trying to get any shots, I'm just trying to spot over the ridge because right now there's nobody spotted. Now we notice their two mediums are on the heavy side, which is really quite strange. But now we know that we can kind of get out on the flank, we can make a nice rotation here and get some shots in without being punished by their mediums. So we're going to cut wide and try to make it into town, but we get spotted trying to go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try to farm off some shots into their heavy tank. We are looking around to make sure that we can back up. Again, we're in an AMX 30B. We have really good reverse speed. We get another bounce there. We're this game, we are really showcasing how troll this tank's armor is if you angle it right. We do trade a shot there. We probably shouldn't have traded that. It wasn't necessary, but we do get one out in return. So, 
Again, as we were backing up there, you can see this tank is really, really quick. You can take advanced positions really fast. We take a blind shot there. I don't believe we hit that. And we notice our team has all moved up to the uh, Valley Hill right there. Since we do know our team has moved up, we can kind of play more aggressive. Uh, we notice our 57 Heavy moving around, and we don't want him to die. He is a crucial part of our team. He has a clip, and we know he can get out a lot of damage really fast. So we don't want him to die. So we're going to be keeping these tanks off of him. And our goal right now is the Vickers. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken that shot. That was really bad on my part. We miss. We get another shot there, get him out of the game. That was a crucial thing for us. And there again, we get another bounce from their 54. You can see this tank really does have some quite, quite some special armor, a little bit better than the Leopard one. We're looking around for a shot here. Uh, we can't get one on the E5, and he can't get one on us. We're just going to ignore that VK. Their VK-72 is AFK right now. Looking around behind us, we see that our team has cleared anybody that tried to rush. And now we are basically creating some really hard angles for them to take. Their, uh, their E5 misses his shot there while he was backing up, which means that we can just come in and absolutely uh, farm him down to his last HP and get him out of the game as soon as we can. Again, that was a shot. That's my bad. Uh, shouldn't have moved there. He's just taking a shot. But it doesn't really matter. We are going to get the clear on him with a nice fire, and he's out of the game. And now it's just left to farming the VK, but really this entire game, we got a lot of really crucial bounces and we were able to move around in a way that helped our team a lot. We were able to get some good spots off, and because the tank is so quick with such a trustworthy armor, I wasn't too worried about being at by anything, I wasn't worried about getting hit by anything, so I could take some really necessary positions to help out my team. So there you have it, we did uh, about almost 4.7k damage, uh, and this tank does make some pretty good credits, you can see there, I'm not using boosters, I only have premium time on, it does make some pretty good credits, we got top damage on the team, we did block um, over a thousand damage, with, uh, for a medium tank with armor like this, that's this fast, is, isn't is too awful, and they were crucial shots that we did need to bounce, that might have cost us later on in the game. But there you, really that battle, it showcased how much you can control the game, really, by just being able to move around with that mobility in your armor, your turret. It's super important. That's why I think this tank is really worth it if it does come out during uh, Black Friday times. I do really think this tank is worth it. It's so much fun, and it's, it's really quite a good tank. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely do be looking out for this tank when it comes to stores. It'll be around 15,000 to 20,000 gold, or it might be in containers. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And remember to stay toxic and have a wonderful day of tanking.